Whew. What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy Channel. My name's Lloyd, bringing you practical and actionable dating advice. I had a question from one of my students today and he's wondering how he can make his conversations more engaging. Meaning, for some conversations, it feels like the time's just flying by, they're going back and forth, like an hour can seem like five minutes. And for other conversations, five minutes can feel like a lifetime because they're constantly searching for things to talk about. He keeps having to pick the conversation back up and it dies down very quickly. So how can he have the, how can he have the former conversation as opposed to the latter? Because the former gets you a lot more girls um, and is a lot more fun for you and for her when you're talking to them. So in this video, I'm gonna break down exactly what makes a conversation click when women say, oh, me and this guy, we have a connection, we click, we get along, you know, that sort of thing. I'm gonna give you a bunch of tips there, and I'm gonna tell you how to do this with not just women, but for people in your everyday life. So, let's get right into it. The first tip that I'm going to give you is be more passionate when you speak. I don't know if you can tell, but I have a lot of passion when I speak in these videos. And for that reason, I think that's part of the reason why people come and watch my videos, is because I'm very into what I'm talking about. It's very entertaining for people to see someone that's actually showing some emotion when they talk. If you're not showing any emotion, and you're being very bland, you're saying things like, oh, then I went to the bank, then I got some money, then I went home, then I did this, then I did that. It's just people People are automatically gonna tune themselves out. People, and especially women, they don't care about the facts and the figures, they care about the emotion behind what you're saying. And if you show emotion with what you're talking about, it's gonna be a lot more engaging than just the average bland conversation where you're just stating facts and figures with no emotion behind it. Okay, so that's thing one. Thing two is to institute multiple threads. Now what I mean by multiple threads is when you're having a conversation with like, let's say your best friend, usually you'll start talking about something and then you'll, you'll cut it off and then you'll start talking about something else. And then you'll cut that one off and you'll start talking about something else. So you have all of these unfinished conversations that you could have within this conversation. And I call those threads. If you have a bunch of these, you will never run out of things to talk about with this person because you always have something to go back to. So let's say I finish my story. Well, there's three or four other things that we could talk about there because we have a lot of unfinished conversations to be had. So how do you institute multiple threads? How do you uh, make this in a conversation? Well, a good example would be to, let's say you're telling a story about, uh, I don't know, you went out last night to a bar or something like that, and you're telling this story, and you could say, have you ever been to this bar? We went there last night. And so then they say, oh yeah, I went to this bar. Uh, I, I did go to that bar one time. And then you could be like, oh, did you like it? Like, how was it going? You just started a multiple thread right there, okay? You started talking about a story, you asked her a question, now you're talking about something else. When you're finished talking about this, or maybe you can go into another thread, when you're finished talking about that, you have a story to go back to. So have as many of these threads as you can, and the more threads you have, the faster the conversation is gonna go, and the less likely it's gonna be uh, that the person is gonna be getting bored when they talk to you. Tip number three is stop filtering what you say so much. Now, when you're in the zone, you're kind of in a flow state where you feel like you're in the, that social uh, vibe that you got going, it takes a little bit of time to get in sometimes for some people, especially if you're introverted like me, but once you get into it, you stop filtering the things that you have to say and you can just go in and say it. Like if you have a thought, you can just blurt it out and a lot of times people judge themselves very harshly about what they're going to say to a person. So what I invite you to do is stop doing that so much. Stop filtering what you have to say and just say it. Hey, look man, sometimes it won't work out. Sometimes you're gonna say something that makes people upset. Sometimes you're gonna say something that embarrasses you. It doesn't matter, it's okay, okay? I give you permission to fuck up. But if you never do this, then you're never gonna really exercise your talents as a speaker. You're never really gonna have engaging conversations uh, because you're closing yourself off to that opportunity. And the final tip, tip number four, is to be interested into what other people have to say. I know this is gonna be kinda of tough for some people, especially if you're an introverted guy like me, because I gotta be honest with you, most conversations I used to have with people, unless it was about something that I was interested in, unless it was about you know something where I was learning or I was laughing, I really could not care. It was very difficult for me to have a conversation with a stranger and have the typical, like, where are you from, what do you do, like, those, those types of things for me to be interested. Like I would, I would tune out, I would make an effort at the beginning and then I would tune myself out. And it was because it wasn't genuine. If you're spending a lot of time trying to be interested in what a person has to say even though you're not, it's 
eventually you're just gonna tire yourself out. So what I invite you guys to do is think about the conversation differently. Don't think, oh, I don't like talking about this so much. What you should be doing, and what I do, um, and this might just be for me, but it really helps, is I like to think of the person as like, like I'm in some kind of like National Geographic uh, uh, documentary. I'm trying to figure out how this person ticks. Like if I'm talking to a really attractive girl, like I want to know why she does the things that she does. And the more I get to know her, the more I learn about her and why she does the things that she, she does, I'm, I'm learning and I'm learning more about not just her, but people and people like her. And for me, that's interesting. I love learning about why people do the things that they do. I'm interested in people. It was just the conversations and the topics that I was having weren't all that exciting. So if you ask yourself a different question and change your mindset about the conversation, you can be a a lot more interested in what people are talking about and at this point I'm able to have a conversation with pretty much anyone that I want to because I ask myself those questions and I can be interested the entire time if you're interested in other people that makes you interesting okay great so these are the four tips that I have for you guys if you thought of anything else that I didn't include on here please put it in the comments section below if you have any more questions about how to keep your conversations engaging I would recommend that you take a look at some of my other videos about how to never run out of things to say take a look at my how to talk to girls playlist that has a bunch of great information on there some of which I've said in this video uh, but there's a lot of other great stuff too if you watch those you're gonna be great at talking with women talking talking and flirting with women as well too and if you're wondering how to do that you want some extra help hit me up for coaching the single guy 2017 at gmail.com um yeah basically that's it guys if you made it consider subscribing thanks a lot and good luck out there